Whereas it is I, Hellgear, getting into the Halloween event of Merge Dragons. Y'all should already know the deal by now how these work. So, there's nothing really new to explain. I hope all of you watching have a happy and very, very safe Halloween this Sunday. Because, um, yes, we need everyone to have a happy and safe Halloween. Happy and safe. Those are the key words. Happy and safe. Okay. I really need some life heal action to go over here. <laughs> Look at this madness. I put the heart right next to the dead land and it goes away from it. Look at that. Go straight to the plant over here. Not to heal this piece of dead land right here. Oh, it must not be dead land then. All right, that's on me. I whiffed too hard. Okay, see, that is dead land. And it wouldn't go there. The peace. The peace. Come on now. There we go. We actually heal the proper dead land. And that island is now fully healed. All right. What else can I really say about Halloween when it comes to these events that you haven't already heard? I pretty much explained everything. which is kind of sad in a way. Which is kind of sad. Let's get the daily and then jump back into the action. Have you guys been putting more home power into your dragon homes? I have. Well, there's a lot left to do. And my portal for events is level four. There we go. There we are. Open that up. Let's keep on merging. There we go. I need to see that.
Hmm. Where do I go from here? Up there. Up there where there's so much room. There we go. There we go. Making more real estate, Alex. You know, it's kind of sad that Alex Trebek is gone. But what, what, he was battling cancer? Which, you know, cancer sucks. And most importantly, this month is supposed to be about the fight of a particular type of cancer, breast cancer. Even though apparently from what they're saying on social media, October is going to be Pride History Month. Mm. White grape juice. This, this, I want to just... I want everybody to, to sound out about this one for a moment. If June is Pride Month, why would October be Pride History Month? You know, did, did something did something in October revolve around Harvey Milk? Or someone else in the LGBTQ community in October, because I'm I'm trying to piece all of this together respectfully, of course. You know, we have to do this respectfully, and it's like I'm not saying I'm against a Pride History Month. Don't don't get that twisted, okay. I can't be against Pride History Month. And I say I can't be against Pride History Month not because of the usual circumstance. No, I say I can't be against Pride History Month because a lot of people that I deal with, not just in my circle of friends, but even family members, are not heterosexual. I'll say it like that. They're not heterosexual. And Rock Dragon needs to hurry up. Jesus, you harvest slow as hell. You fight slow as hell. Seriously, Merge Dragons, you guys need to give us a different dragon to, to start off harvesting in these events. Rock Dragon is just slow as all hell. Zombie gives you cheese. At least he didn't cut it. No fruit for you. You have harps. Oh, God, the cheese. Okay, no fruit or dairy for you. Ugh. Fan frackantastic. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit about this and I just want to I just want to throw the piece out here. Okay? I don't tell too many people this story. All right? One of my cousins had a wedding many, many years ago in June. And She's a lesbian. Now, I was one of the groomsmen in her wedding. 
And it was the very first lesbian wedding I've ever been to. I thought it was interesting. You know, and I don't say interesting in a bad way. Because here's the thing. My cousin and her wife are a happily married couple. They've been that way for years. And frankly, that's all that matters. She loves her wife. Her wife loves her. And that is the end of the discussion. You know, if I was going to hate people for being not straight, that would look really, really piss poor on me. Because I have family who I love dearly that, again, are not heterosexual. So, to say that you love your lesbian family or your non-straight family, but then bash non-straight people, <laughs> that is that is like a double on well i can't even call that a double entendre because it's not but that is just so two-faced you know it, it that is a hundred percent two-faced and look i have one face i don't need another face like harvey dent but the thing about ooh, actually that would be cool if somebody actually went to a Halloween party as Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face from Batman. That would be some pretty cool stuff. But it just makes you look bad. Because it's like you're sexually wishy-washy. And I, and I know that sounds weird to say, but I'm going to say it one more time. It would make you sexually wishy-washy. You know, it's hard enough for non-straight people to be accepted by many instances in today's world. You know, they will always go through this prejudice. Probably more worse prejudice than black people have gone through. Ethnic card not being tossed here. I'm just saying not everyone, even though in this day and age we socially understand the LGBT community. And many of us, straight and non, will fight for them tooth and nail for the sake of freedom and justice. But there are certain individuals, as well as certain parts of the country, where even though you are an equal person, even though you could be hitting on the same team, then you should. There are those people that just refuse to accept you for the way you are. And it's sad. It truly is sad. And when you have friends that aren't straight, but you want to bash the non-straight community, that's one of the quickest ways you can burn the bridges of your friendship. You know, I have made the story many times. People do one of two things when it comes to me. They either love me or they Fear me. 
not love me or hate me, love me or fear me. You know, and if anything else, I do my damnedest, and I mean this wholeheartedly, I mean this, I do my damnedest to coexist with everyone as possible, as much as possible. Kind of like how Pinkie Pie from the previous My Little Pony knows every pony's name and birth dates and all that stuff, right? How she's more organized than Twilight Sparkle was. That sort of thing. You know? I want to be that person that builds the bridges. But don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted either. Just because I want to build the bridges doesn't mean... Oh, well... There we go. That takes care of the fruit problem. At least for now. Just because I want to build the bridges doesn't mean I want to build these bridges so that they can be burned down at a later date. And if any of my bridges are burnt, they are not burned by me. They're burned by the other party. Moving along, everyone, I just want your opinions on that. Just tell me what you think. You know, do you feel like October being Pride History Month is out of place? Do you feel like it is the perfect place? Do you just not give a damn? You know, tell me in the comment section below. Give me the general gauge of you, my YouTube audience. I am running out of steam here. I'm almost out of gas. Oh, that's bad. I blame it on me being, well, I blame it on me having asthma, but, <laughs> all right, look, let me, I guess I, I'll talk about the daily struggle of the asthmatic YouTuber. <laughs> um, my asthma isn't horrible, just, I have to be careful not to win myself. You know, and this isn't just like for exercise, but in general, you know, talking for a long time, conversing without a nice little bit of a pause, I can literally gas myself. It sucks, I know, but it's one of those things that you manage or try to manage. Is it hard to manage your asthma? No. It, managing your asthma is not a hard thing. Is asthma reversible? A lot of people wish that it is. I am not one of those people who wish that asthma could be reversible. But a lot of people I know who have asthma, they do wish that it was reversible. And I'll never get how I managed to get asthma, but I guess what I could say is that it's a hereditary thing because Mother Hell is on what Mother Hell has asthma. You know, sometimes, sometimes you have to chalk it up the genes, and I know that's one of those things that. Is it sounds like a cop out, but 
one thing that they do tell you as a as an adult when you go into the world is you have to know about your family's medical history. You know, if you have a lot of people who get high blood pressure and and that's one of the things in in my family that goes around. There's people who have high blood pressure. Right? I get the high blood pressure Jones from both parents. And contrary to what some people think, having high blood pressure in the genes is not just a black thing. You know, oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this thing. This autumn dragon. Well, the autumn dragon season pass began a couple days ago. I could spend 10 bucks and get that. I don't have any autumn dragons. Yeah. When I deal with my asthma, it's about controlling your breathing, not overexerting your lungs. That's the big part. You know, not overexerting your lungs is one of the best, best things as someone who has asthma that you can get under control. You figure out how to get that under control as an asthmatic and you can get by with a lot of activity. Okay, we're on the merging thing now, huh? Yeah. Good combo action. I didn't even know that was dead land. I was I didn't even think that was dead land. I just thought I'd need to get that merged so I can actually get it. Oh, okay, so that actually is dead land. Good to know. I could just use this life orb and bust open, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to at all. If there's one thing about asthma that I've learned, and, and I say this before I end the episode. If there's one thing about asthma that I've learned. It's that. You want to wean yourself off of your inhaler. If you can. You may not be able to wean yourself completely off of your inhaler. But the less you need to use it. The better off you'll be. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I plan to do another episode of Merge Dragons, but this weekend's kind of tight. So if another episode of Merge Dragons doesn't show up for this Halloween weekend, please don't hate me. Again, Halloween weekend is tight right now. Raise your thumbs if you've enjoyed this one. Now let me take my dragons to camp and be done. Bye-bye, everybody.